it to the airport. When I say I've barely slept, oh, I think I've had about two hours sleep. I could not sleep. You know, and you just keep waking up. But yeah, maybe nap later. So in Thailand, we have to weigh our bags and then we take them over to what's called screening. Yeah. It's like a luggage screening and they take it there. So it's a bit different. We're just at the gate and I've got a little, I don't even know what this is to be honest, but it looks nice. And Kira's got a little croissant. It's really early still, it's like 5 a.m. So we're not that hungry yet. We got here a bit early, didn't we? Yeah. We could have slept a bit more. But the thing is with the airport, you never know. You don't know how long it's going to take. But every single airport we've been to in Thailand has just been so quick, like straight through, straight through security, straight through, check in, like no queues. So yeah, it's been really quick. We're just waiting for our taxi from the airport. We've sorted out our SIM cards already, which is good from this place here. We did our SIM cards and we just thought we'll just book a taxi because it's easy and it didn't seem too much. It was less than what the hotel were charging for transfer, so we were like, let's just do it. And we're tired. Yeah, we're very tired. It's uh, 9 a.m. now, but we've been up since 3.45 and I barely slept. Yeah. I just hope, oh, actually. We slept for like three hours. Oh uh, yeah, like less than that. Yeah. I literally had the worst sleep. We have arrived at the hotel. It's looking very schmancy. Unfortunately, we can't check in until two, and it's literally only. 9.44 right now so we're just gonna go and explore find something to eat unfortunately as well as you can see the weather's not great but it's okay we're not getting wet right now it's our first time in Vietnam so we're both very excited to explore and it already feels different so this is my vlog currently we're gonna let chat GBT uh, do a few things and tell us what to do and then we're gonna go there but, um, yeah. We have decided because we have time to kill, a lot of time, like four or five hours, and we have no idea what to do in Hanoi because we've never been here. And to be honest, I usually do a lot of research before I come to places. So I saw a YouTuber called Ben Morris do this the other day and I thought it would be really fun to do. He let AI control his day while he was traveling. Tell us how to spend the day in Hanoi. Tell us Good morning. just one thing to do. I would suggest exploring the vibrant and bustling Old Quarter. It's a fascinating area with narrow streets, rich history. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to the Old Quarter. So we've booked a grab to the Old Quarter, which is what ChatGBT has kindly informed us we should do <laughs> we were hoping that we'd be able to check in early but unfortunately we can't so um yeah we're both so tired though so i don't know how this is going to go but we're just going to explore a little bit and then once we can check in we're definitely definitely going to nap we're just walking to find food of course because why we're are we looking Starving. Because we're starving. <laughs> um, yeah, we've noticed that the pavements are for the pets and we kind of just have to fend for ourselves. Yeah, the pavements are definitely for the pets. Yeah. Like all the way up. It's actually crazy. Uh, this is the one, I think. Yeah. How is it? Yeah. Kiri wants to try it. Well, he's already tried it. He really likes this dish called pho. Yeah, it's just a noodle soup. So we will show it to you. This is a traditional Vietnamese restaurant that's got really good reviews. It's only like 10 a.m. Wait, no, it's 10.23 right now and we're about to have like lunch. I'm getting rabi pho. Rabi pho? Yeah. Oh, it's rare. Yeah, but then it like cooks in the 
Oh, okay. You know I mean? uh -huh. So, yeah. This is the Vietnamese dish I ordered. I'll put the title of it on the screen because I'm not going to jump to say it. But um, the waitress is going to come over and show me how to eat it, whatever that means. I mean, I, I, do I not just eat it? <laughs> I'm not sure, but she gave me rice paper. So we'll see. <laughs> Kiri's beef pho has arrived. Yes. And he said he used to have it a lot when he lived in Australia, so are you excited? Every day, every day. You yeah. had it every day? Yeah, pretty much, almost every day anyway. Have you had yeah. it since? Not really, no. Wow. It's been a long time. Maybe once or twice. And that was like, what, eight years ago? It's a nice presentation, so. isn't it? The way yeah, they've... The lovely waitress showed me how to do it. So you take the rice paper, you take some lettuce, and then you choose your herbs. So they've got mint in there, cilantro, some other stuff, it's all fresh. And then you take a bit of the pancake here, you wrap it in the rice paper, and then you dip. And I'm gonna let you know what I think in a minute. Kiri's loving the foe. Just how I remember it, well, better than I remembered it, so yeah. This is what it looks like when you're rolling it. This is uh, honey and ginger tea. We've been like loving our ginger lately. I think because we, well not we, I kept getting sick and Kiri got sick and then we just keep buying like ginger shots and ginger and having ginger tea. So yeah, it smells good. And this is, um, what is it, a moonbeam cake. Moon, moon, moonbeam moon cake, something like that, yes. That dish was really really good would highly recommend so we've come out of the restaurant it was really really nice but we're trying to decide what to do because it's super rainy it's just stopped but it was absolutely pouring down so we're kind of like we should maybe do this another day because this weather we're just not dressed appropriately and we don't have an umbrella. But so far, my first impressions of Hanoi are very, very good. This is the old quarter right now, it's pouring down and I stupidly don't have my umbrella. So back to the hotel it is. Sorry AI, we didn't, I mean we explored a bit. We had no, a really a nice, bit, lunch. nice lunch. And now we need to go back. Oh, Grab has arrived. Poor Kiri is getting soaked. I've got his hoodie on. Back at the hotel and ready to sleep. And they said our room is ready, so thank God. It's midday now. This is very fancy, guys. This is probably the fanciest one we've stayed in, right? Yeah, 100%. And we've got a little balcony, massive TV. Hi. <laughs> and the bathroom. Wow, this is lovely. The bed is comfy. It's so comfy and we are so happy. <laughs> this is the nicest room we've stayed in probably. And Kiri's located Netflix, which someone hasn't logged out of. So we'll be using that probably. <laughs> We have got Netflix anyway, I don't know why we'll just use our own, or Kiri's should I say. The service has been amazing, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Over and out, we're going to sleep. We've just woken up, well actually that's a lie, I woke up like an hour ago. But we've just been chilling and I had a shower and then we had a knock at the door and the hotel delivered us some little biscuit treats. And it also, how cute is this? To help you prepare for tomorrow, we have also provided the latest weather forecast and they've ticked sunny, which is so good to see. Although I don't know if it's gonna be sunny in Hajang because that's more north. Yeah. But we will see. And then we got some little biscuits, which are really in need right now because we're both starving. We're gonna go try and find something to eat. And then we're gonna check out, there's like a rooftop bar here 
Um, they've given us like a free drink voucher, so we'll go up there later, see what that's like, but we can't have too much of a heavy night because tomorrow we are going up to Hajang and we are being picked up from our hotel in Hanoi, but it's about five and a half, six hour drive from Hanoi to Hajang. So it's gonna be a very long journey. Definitely do not wanna be feeling hungover tomorrow. So tonight we have come to a Japanese restaurant. We ordered sashimi and what is the other thing called? Tonkatsu? Yeah. Tonkatsu and sashimi. We've got some tiger bits. This looks absolutely delicious. So that was the best sashimi I've ever had. We've ever had. We've never had. So we're gonna order another one. Because <laughs> <I'm laughs> like... we're starving. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, take my money. I just, that sashimi was delicious. Mm -hmm. Here's our second portion of sashimi and edamame. Neither of us ordered this, but maybe it's complimentary because we ordered another sashimi. <laughs> and our tonkatsu has arrived. I hope this is as good as the sashimi was. We're just walking. We're going to try and find a little shop. They don't have 7-Eleven here. We thought they did, but they don't. But we're going to try and find a... Swenson. <laughs> no, not Swenson. We're gonna try somewhere to get water for the hotel room. Also, there are so many ramen slash Japanese places and I'm so happy about it because that's literally my favorite. And that Japanese restaurant we went to, oh, I don't even know what that was called. Do you? I didn't even look. No. I'm... Otherwise I would have put the name. I'll try and find like, it on Google. The food was so good. We just came out like hypnotized, you know what I mean? The food. It was so good. We nearly just got run over by these mopeds. I said to Kiri, we are going to end up getting run over in this country though. Like, it's crazy. We have to walk in the middle of the road to like... Well, yeah, because you can't really go on the pavements in the busy places because they're all covered by peds. So you have to go in the road. We found somewhere. It's not quite the same as 7-Eleven, but they've got everything we need. It's quite um, lively over here near where we're staying. We're not by the city centre, like the old quarter anyway, but um, yeah, there's like a lot of restaurants and bars. I like it. We like it a lot actually. And really nice lights and lanterns. That's the little fitness centre. It's very small. What if there's two people in there? Three people? Well then you won't be able to go in there. I have to go in there. We have to come back later. <laughs> this is the little pool. Oh, How wow. cute. Oh, it's nice for you. That's really nice. Yeah. And then this is the little rooftop bar. The camera's not good quality at night time, but... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Got a couple of beers. Thank you. Had some nice drinks at the rooftop bar. We're back in the room now. We've genuinely had such a good first day in Vietnam. Like, so, so good. I think just like being off work as well is just like amazing. <laughs> just knowing that I've got a week off no stress we're doing the hajang loop tomorrow just yeah it's gonna be a few more days till the next video but the next video is gonna be very very exciting it's gonna be the hajang loop um i'm thinking i'll probably end up doing two parts of the hajang because we're doing four days so maybe day one and two and then day three and four and you can see kind of what we did and who we went with and how much it cost we bought these um poncho things from the shop they were 50p each they're like huge rain ponchos. We already have waterproof coat, but um, these are like really big ones that cover half your legs as well. And here we've got a red one here. Actually, I'll show you a picture. This is probably what we're gonna look like on the entirety of the Hajang Loop. <laughs> so it's gonna make for good pictures, but apparently it's not raining tomorrow, but I really think when we go up north, it will be. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.